so needed. Gonna enjoy it. So every morning I start with these two. So I read a page out of this. Today is March 21st. And that's always how I start every single day with my coffee. So great. And then I just pick one. I do this each morning to set the intention for the day. I spent five hours, four hours, I spent four hours yesterday doing my nails. I went for a neon mat. Only the third time I have to do my gel X myself, so it's a work in progress. I'm ready, but just a quick breakfast for mush. It's time for some numbing. So I have been using Sensa for a while now. I love it. It's just making getting tattooed so much easier. I put it on already at home because it really takes a bit to get it on. So now we're gonna leave. I'm running a bit late. I just started my period, TMI. Um, I'm gonna go get some coffee for me and Jill. The numbing is numbing and I love it. So yeah, gonna get some coffee and then head to the tattoo shop. Jill is a good friend of mine. She's been working on my leg tattoos and it's just always such a blast hanging out with her. Like it's one of my favorite things. I Let me see, I'm getting coffee for Jill as well. Let me see what she wanted. I'm next in line. I need to figure out a way to film in a car. Maybe like this. Not very charming. So whenever I get tattooed, I try to like get like a sugary drink beforehand. It just always makes me feel better. I already had coffee, but I'm just going to get like an espresso frappuccino, I think. I don't know. I feel like it helps when I'm getting tattooed to not like feel sick or icky i don't know i guess this person has a very long order oh it's my turn hi uh could i do a grande decaf ice hazelnut latte a grande decaf ice hazelnut latte yes and can what else? uh can i also do a Espresso frappuccino in venti with coconut milk. Uh, no, that will be it. Thank you so much. It's literally raining in my car. But you know, like when you're almost already like it's your turn. Close your window and then open it again when the second you get there. So. Just letting Jill know that I'm running late. I tend to never run late, okay? Like, I'm a Capricorn, I'm never late. But to this morning, a lot didn't go according to plan. So I'm getting her a little drink as a treat. <sighs> so fucking gloomy outside today in Austin. The weather has been all over the place. It really, literally goes from being sunny and hot to fucking Dutch weather basically which I do not miss for those who don't know and you're just watching this randomly I'm originally from the Netherlands and I moved to America four years ago so I it's the weather is fantastic in, in Texas I love it thank you that's one Thank you. Do you have another straw for my yeah, friend? Definitely. I don't know if she wants one, but just in case. Thank I'll you so much. Have a good day.
driving out of the driveway drive through when you know so many cars are behind you it's always so stressful but where are the straw people at i was just thinking about this the other day how is it that for a while so many people were so aggressive towards others about using straws and now i haven't heard anyone about it i haven't seen any fucking comments nothing it's just i don't know like non-existing anymore when it's still obviously a problem plastic has been a problem so i'm not really understanding why suddenly everyone stopped because i used to get harassed with comments like these even though i would bring my reusable cup even in covid when they will not let you use your reusable cup people were still being a little little police uh recycle police about it which i i don't know it's um, interesting how that goes. I just cannot drink cold drinks without a straw. It hurts my teeth. I have very sensitive teeth. Everything in America is also so cold. Like in Holland, I used to like just drink tap water because tap water there is fantastic. And like no ice cubes or anything. Now obviously in my iced coffee, but I wouldn't put in like million ice cubes. I would just put in one or two tree but not like i'm getting more used to drinking stuff with so much ice as you do here but it's just like my teeth are sensitive i can't do it but okay let me sip on this for a bit listen to some music i have been loving the beauty school dropout and so catchy you have to song with Jaden, and it's so good so all right see you in a bit just doing a lot of voice over here as I muted the sounds. There's where a lot of people in the shop and I wanted to respect our privacy. And also there's music playing and I don't know what YouTube, how tricky that is as a background. Obviously the sound of the needle was so satisfying, at least to me, but I couldn't show you because of, of that. Never enough volunteers. I haven't gotten that many tattoos on my left leg, so this is number four. I'm really excited. It is still my seventh palm tree tattoo. I'm obsessed, what can I say? And to be honest, the wiping part is honestly the worst part of getting tattooed. That's a wrap. Stuck in traffic and the weather has been so shitty. So we got done tattooing and I was starving. We always hang out longer and because we were just chilling the numbing kind of wore off so i have been feeling a little bit of the tattoo and we did some touch-ups on another one so i'm just starving i actually got food on the way home which i never do like i always cook unless i'm like with darren then we tend to eat out but i got a chicken burger i'm excited i'm hungry and i got fries obviously with mayo because i'm dutch so yeah i'm gonna eat this real quick it's so good I have seriously been enjoying food so much more since I've not been vegan anymore. Obviously, I try to eat gluten-free like 95% of the time because it just doesn't make me feel good. But I started my period, I got tattooed, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get a grilled chicken sandwich. If you have P. Terry's in your state, I love it. It's so good. And you just know like the stuff's coming from a good place and I love it, getting it. Oh my gosh, there's someone walking in rain. The weather is so shitty right now. I cannot. But yeah, I'm just getting some food in my system. Also, I went to the dentist yesterday and usually ever since moving to America, I feel like I have way more cavities and I like go to the dentist every six months. And I was expecting to have another cavity or something since the last time I went was October. And it's just kind of been that way since go living here. And lo and behold, it was perfectly fine. And I started eating meat in November. So I'm now I'm like, did I have less cavities because I'm eating less processed foods and more animal protein? Like, is that making a difference in my teeth health? Like in my dental health? Who knows, but all right, I'm gonna finish this off camera. Also, mayo is the best sauce ever for fries. So you can change me otherwise. I wish. You give me not a lot of mayo dough. 
and like no other sauce, which is kind of a crime, but whatever. All right, eating this. Talk to you later. I'm back home. I meant to film more at the tattoo shop, but as my friend was tattooing me, there was also other people getting tattooed, other artists. So I didn't want to like intrude someone's privacy by doing that. She's getting so big. Oh my God. So yeah, I didn't want to like film while there's others there talking and stuff. I just like didn't feel that that was the right thing to do. I'm still trying to navigate this whole YouTube thing. Like, I don't know, like it's hard to film in public. Um, especially cause like how the title shop is designed that my friend works at is that it's an open space where multiple artists are. And I know that some title artists have like little rooms, but that's not the case at her shop. So I might just like have a chill evening. It's so gloomy outside. I'm PR package in today. So let's, oh, it's matching my nails. Open it together. I guess this is, oh, it has my name on it. That's adorable. That is freaking adorable. It's Teeterand. Oh, I love it. It has different scents. That's great. Let's see what Jasmine and Mandarin blossoms. Very floral. Fresh cotton and sea salt. Well, that's definitely going to be my gem. Love anything cotton smell. And coconut vanilla. There was all actually more in it. It had a little secret bottom with a shampoo bar and a little sleepy tea. Never heard of this brand, Dozy Girl. Sounds fantastic. I am a sucker for tea. I grew up in Europe, so tea is like a thing that you drink in the morning, in the afternoon, in, at 8 p.m. Like it's a thing. Never go wrong with a tea. Also, this hat is from Lack of Collar. This knit is God knows what brand. It's from my husband. Let me double check that. And then this dress is vintage that I've been wearing. And then Dolly. So. I bought this diner for them to fuck with. And that's definitely what you do all the time. So obnoxious and so ugly in my office. But it makes my cats happy. So whatever. Um. Still also debating. I want to change some things in my office. I want a nice desk that has like nothing so I can just only put my laptop on it. And I want to create like a corner. Either I have to move this or over here, but the light is not good over here to make it like a podcast corner. So if you have any tips, you're welcome to share them with me. I'm going to chill and wind down. The Elemis cleansing balm, and then I use this one as well. And I'm gonna put little eye patches on. Just doing a little self care night. And love this Elemis face mask. I recently started this book, I got it for my birthday, but it's super intense. But I'm really into it so far and excited to read some more. Also, if you want to know more about tattoos, how to take care of them what inspires me any tattoo related things you can always ask me comment below if you love my channel please don't hesitate to subscribe and like and comment it helps me a lot as i'm growing here is bean dolly bean Woo. thank you so much